This is a quick video to show you how my Reference Manager EndNote and the Grammarly features are integrated right into Microsoft Word. I've opened up an old document that I received from a student several sessions ago. And when I open it up and I have Grammarly installed and Grammarly is um, active, right? I can open Grammarly like this. As soon as I do that, it points out all the errors or areas where that could be uh, improved. Now, I opened up this one because I knew there were a lot of areas for improvement, just to show you what Grammarly will do if you haven't used it in a while. So right off the bat, Grammarly tells me if I just click over or click this first error, It'll say, oh, I need a, uh, I need a comma. Just click that. It inserts the comma, although I should shut off the track changes. Something like this. Next, let's take a look at this sentence right here. It is essential for top management to understand. So if I click right on that, Grammarly is telling me that the conciseness of the sentence could be improved. So it crosses off the original and makes a recommendation for the new one. So now it reads, top management needs to understand and implement blah, blah, blah. So that is much better grammatically. So you keep going down through the document, making these changes, looking at Grammarly's recommendations and accepting the recommendation or, or not. In this case, we need a comma right before the word and. Hello, there we go. And in this case down here, we can see that we have an extra comma. So Grammarly says, get rid of that. Here I wanna show you how using a reference manager can really help you with your in-text citations and references. So as I mentioned before, I use EndNote, but you don't have to use EndNote. There's several other options available to you, but I'm just gonna show you how this works because EndNote is integrated directly into my Microsoft Word program. It's even got its own tab up here, EndNote uh, X9, which is the version of it. So as I go along, I'm writing, I can enter a, a citation let's say right at the end of this first sentence. So this first sentence is control chart, doesn't really matter what the sentence is, but it says control charts, inspection, and capability analysis. If used in CARDIS, I don't know what that is, um, can be proven extremely advantageous. Okay, so let's say that um, Flintstone and Rubble said that. I'm paraphrasing what they said. Uh, what I will do is because I have a whole slew of references in my reference manager, I can go out and select the appropriate reference from the author that basically said this. So what I'm gonna do is click insert citation. I'm going to find the appropriate reference and I just, I can do a search up here, this will search for author names, it'll search for titles, and it basically searches the metadata for the reference. And let's say, for the sake of argument, it's this author right here. The nice thing is I can just double click and it inserts the author's name right in perfect APA format. The last name, I can't pronounce that last name to save my life, and then et al. So there's no dot after at, but there's a little dot right after al. Okay, so it's author last name, space at, space al dot, comma, then the year. And EndNote does this perfectly for me. And you'll see if I scroll down way at the bottom, it's inserted the APA reference for me. So it used at all because there's six or more authors and you can see the title of the article and the journal and volume number. Notice that the journal and volume number are always italicized. And then the issue number is put in parentheses 
right like that, then a comma, then the page number. You can see how that's formatted like that. And this is the format that you will follow for all journal articles. One thing to note is that a reference manager will not fix appropriate capitalization. So in this case, the capitalization of this article is wrong because every single word is capitalized or mixed case like this. It shouldn't look like this at all. So you'll have to fix those types of issues in your reference manager if you want it to be 100% right when you insert the citation into your Word doc. Now scrolling back up where I made that, uh, where did I insert that? Right here. Okay. So there's the citation that comes at the very end of a sentence like this. Now there are other ways we can cite in text. We can say things like Hebner, open parentheses, 2019, close parentheses, discussed, blah, blah, blah. So that's just a slightly different way of citing. So I could put something like this. I can insert another citation. I know I have a few in here. And I can double click and it inserts that citation. Now, once the citation is inserted, I can right click on it and then edit the citation and display it differently. So the default format is parenthetical, like it's inserted here. But I can also display it as just the last name and then the year in parentheses like this. Just like that. And of course, after I insert the citation here, you can scroll way down and double check that the reference has been inserted into the reference list. And the other nice thing is the reference is, in, is inserted in alphabetical order. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help.